Hey guys, this is Blindmaster here with another tutorial, and today I'm going to show you how to create this Batman wallpaper inside of Blender. The first thing you want to do is go on the internet and find a reference image of a logo that you want to create. And I'm just going to delete the Cuban lamp and go to Top View Orthographic. I'll press N to bring up this Properties tab, and we're going to add a reference image as the background. So I'm going to check background image, click add image, and I'm going to select my image that I loaded in earlier. Now to model uh, the Batman logo, I'm going to add a curve path. And then I'll just tab into edit mode, or I'll first I'll center it, and then scale everything down in edit mode, and start moving the vertices around to where we want it to match with the logo. And you just have to keep extruding these points everywhere you go to create the logo that you are, or to create the Batman logo. So I'm just going to keep extruding points like this, and I'll pause and come back when I'm done. Okay, so as you can see, I've finished extruding around the entire object, and before I connect these two last vertices, I'm going to come over here to the curve info and switch the shape from 3D to 2D. Then I'll select the last two vertices and press F to fill in the face. And now we should have our Batman logo. So I'm just going to press Shift D to duplicate this and move it to a different layer to have it as a backup. And then I'll open up the Properties tab and close the background image. I'll rotate this on the X axis by 90 degrees. I'll press Alt G so it's in the center of our scene. Now we're going to add some thickness to this by uh, changing the extrude value. I'm going to set this at 0.05. I think that's good. And I'm going to add a bevel to this by changing the depth. So I think that's good at 0.01. And that's it for modeling the Batman logo. And uh, now we have to create the material and we'll be doing that inside of cycles. So just switch over to cycles, add a new material, and I'm going to open up the material window to edit it because this is going to involve a lot of different textures and notes. So first thing we're going to do is add the bump to our um, logo right here. And to do that I'll add a texture coordinate node and we'll be using a noise texture. Now I'll bring the object output into the vector and switch the scale to 100. And then I'll add a color ramp node. And I'm going to increase the contrast by dragging these two sliders to the center like that. And then I'm going to add a mix RGB node, switch it to multiply, and change the factor to 1, and plug this color into the bottom and then we'll plug this into the displacement. And that's it for our displacement on the model. And now we have to create all of the colors. And if we go into rendered view, we can see what we're working with. I'm just going to add a quick light sun lamp. This is just so we can see what we're doing. We'll add some real lights later. Okay, I'm just going to rotate that. Oops. I'll switch the strength to 5 so it's a little stronger. And there you can see we're getting some nice bumps. So now we'll add the color and we'll do that by duplicating the noise check, noise texture and color ramp three more times. Like that. And I'll just drag all of that back. And I'm going to switch these scale factors. This one will be 15. This will be 1.5, and this will be 2. And we can put in a mission shader here, so that way we can see what it, our textures look like. Okay, and then I'm just going to drag these out so there's not much contrast. That. And now we can see what each of these textures look like but we have to plug in the object output into each of these first. Okay, so that's looking good. And I'm just going to change this scale to 5. I think that looks better. 
Now I'm going to change these black colors to a dark blue instead. Like that. Because the Batman logo has a bluish tint to it. I'll just copy and paste these colors into the other ones like that. Now we'll combine these textures by adding a color mix RGB node. We'll switch it to multiply with a factor of 1 and plug it in like that and duplicate it and then do it again. So that's it for our texture. Now we have to create the material which will be a diffuse shader mixed with a glossy shader. So just add a mix shader and a glossy shader. Whoops. And plug both of those in like that. Okay, and now I'm just going to plug this into our two shaders. And for the glossy shader, I'm going to set the roughness to 0 0.1. And I'm going to add a hue saturation node right before the color. And I'll bring the saturation to 0 and the value to 5 so that it increases the brightness. And that's looking good, but our light's really strong, so I'll just change that strength back to 1. And you can start to see our Batman logos looking good. Okay, so now we'll set up the lights. So I'm just going to close this window here and go to wireframe mode, delete the lamp, and we'll be using planes to light up our scene. So I'm just going to add an array modifier to this, switch the offset from 1 to 1.5, and change the count to 5. And I'll just copy it and copy and paste that value to the Y and switch the X to 0. So now we have a nice grid plane. I'm going to give that a pure white emission material with a strength of 1. And I'll just center it like that and move it up right about there. Okay. And I'll duplicate this and rotate it by 40, negative 45 degrees and position it like that. Then we'll duplicate another one. We'll press that button to create a new material and set the strength of that to 5 and rotate it by 90 degrees. And we'll scale this by 0.25 and then 0.75 for 0.5 again. And we'll move it down here. And we'll center all of these so that they are positioned right in front of our logo like that. And then I'm just going to select each of these and go to the object info panel and set the ray visibility and uncheck camera for all of them so that they don't render in our uh, camera. So now if we go to front view and shift Z we can start to see our logos looking really good now. And the more samples are, the better it's looking. Okay, so that's it for creating the material of our logo. Now I'm just going to duplicate this scene by pressing the plus button and full copy. And I'll delete these lights we just made. Whoops. I can select them. And I'll give this Batman logo a pure white emission shader. Whoops. Okay. Like that. I'll go to front view, press Control Alt Zero, snap our camera to view. I'm just gonna make sure this Batman logo is centered. Actually I'm gonna delete this scene and I'm gonna select this camera and position it first before we duplicate it. Because it's important that this camera is in the right position. So, I'm just going to position it like that, and then press the plus button and full copy, and then shift click on the Batman logo, press Control i to select everything else, and then press X to delete. Now we can select our Batman logo and give it a pure white emission shader, and render out this image. And this is going to be a mask that we'll be using later, so I'll name the scene mask. And then we'll add a new scene and call this Flare. And this is going to be what creates this nice golden glow from behind the logo. So to 
create that, I'm just going to add a plane and run tab into edit mode and press W, merge at center. And we're going to make sure we're in Blender Render Engine, give it a halo material, and I'll set the size to 5, and give it some lines, and switch it from 12 to 180, like that. Whoops, 180, not 18. And I'll make a pure black background. Press Control Alt, or first we have to add a camera. And then press Control Alt Zero. I'm just gonna position this, and then render it out really quickly and see what it looks like. And it's cut out a little here, so I'm just gonna zoom out some more and render it. We'll zoom in. Some more, and that's looking good. So now we'll jump over to the compositor and make sure we're on the flare scene. Click Use Nodes Backdrop, and I'll we'll just drag these out. Control Shift and left click to bring up the VR node. I'll duplicate this and change the scene to mask, and click this button to render it out. Okay. And we're going to add a blur to this. So press Shift A, Filter, Blur, Fast Gaussian, Relative, Y, and that's too strong. So set it to 2x2. Two two. And press Shift A, Color, Mix, switch it to Multiply, and then plug in the flare image. And it's important that this image is scaled up bigger than the flare. So I'm going to add a scale node and then scale that up by 2 like that. Or instead that's starting to get distorted so I'll just go back and render it out again and zoom in instead like that. And that's looking better I suppose and we'll duplicate another blur node and multiply node. We'll set this blur to 5 after plugging in the image. And then plug in the original image and we can view that. And I'm going to set the value of this to 0.5 so it's a little darker. And then we can duplicate this multiply node switch it to add and plug in this image here. And I'm going to change that blur to 1 I think. That looks better. And then I'll switch this one to 2.5. 2.5, 2.5. So yep, and that looks a lot better. So now I'll just add a RGB curve. And you can tweak this to get any color you want, but I'm going for like an orangish look. So I'm going to increase the red up to there, increase the green a little bit like that, and then bring down the blues. So that's the color I'm going for. I'll plug it in the compositor. And right now this center is too strong, so I'm going to duplicate this hue saturation value note and plug it in right there and set the strength to 0.75. And that's looking good. But it's still a little cut off there, so I'm going to go back to our scene and zoom in some more like that and that should be good so now I'll just save this image as flare now we can go back to our scene with the uh, Batman logo I'm gonna press shift S cursor to center so it goes back there press shift A image as plane and I'm gonna select the flare rotate on the x-axis by 90 degrees and change it from a diffuse shader to an emission shader. And I'll move it behind our logo like that. And then scale it up like that. And I'm just going to make sure it's positioned right. So looks good. I'm going to move it down a little bit. Scale it down. And that's looking good. So now we can just render our image really quickly. And 
There you have it, a nice cool looking Batman logo made inside a blender. And right now you can see it's really grainy, that's because the uh, sampling is at 10. And you can just increase that 100 to improve the resolution of the image. So thanks for watching, I hope you learned something new. And if you have any suggestions for future tutorials, feel free to leave them in the comments below as well. Thanks for watching.